Some sad news this week with Tino Livramento being ruled out for the rest of the year, ACL injury in his knee. Sure, it's a big blow for, for him and sure also for us. Um, there are not a lot of positive things you can take out of this because uh, it is a, a big setback for him. Um, the good thing is, if you want, that he has his first very good year for us. Uh, so he has shown that he is absolutely a, a Premier League player and uh, this helps you a little bit when you go in the rehab uh, for such a long time to come back even stronger, hopefully. Uh, we have a very good team here that is taking care of him. Um, hopefully the surgery is perfect and then, then uh, we have a lot of time to work with him. And I think you said after the game that on the strikers deciding who to play up front, you, you hadn't decided until that morning. Is that your normal approach? Um, not always, but uh, there are some games where um, it is uh, the finding of the starting eleven is a journey through the whole of the week, and and we have a lot of opportunities that can be sometimes an advantage. Sometimes it is drags you a little bit because you have so many options, and you think mm, what what is the best to take. And if you don't have any options, it's easier if you pick the eleven you have. But we have more than this, and. It's sometimes a very hard decision to take for me, but also for the players. But in the end, I have to take it and uh, I'm responsible for the result. I'm responsible for the, for the 11 and uh, this is the job you have to do. Up next, Crystal Palace, 13th against 14th. What's the team news? We have uh, no more injuries uh, instead of uh, Tino. And uh, yeah, team is well, a good session. Um, Palace played on Monday evening. Uh, we saw the game against Leeds, an intense one. A team that is uh, playing a good season, a little bit similar to us. Had some fantastic moments, some moments where the results haven't been that great. But uh, in the end, uh, for all the, the, the things they are doing, absolutely good, good, good season. They have been in the half final of the FA Cup. Uh, a little bit similar to us uh, last season. This season we, we made it to the quarterfinals. So. I think a very interesting game uh, against a team that has, uh, especially up front, good qualities. Also in the back, good organised team, uh, don't give you a lot of chances. Uh, we had a tough first game against them with a 2-2 draw, I think, where we had a bad start and then a good turnaround and then in the end, uh, I think, a deserved draw. So it will be, a, again, a tight, a tight match, I think. Quick word on, on Patrick. Um, first season in management in the Premier League, he's, he's obviously done a remarkable job with a, a very young Palace team that had to be rejuvenated. Ah, he was an amazing player, uh, fantastic midfielder um, with um, a, a absolutely great record in the, in the Premier League also. And uh, yeah, I mean, uh, for his uh, first uh, job in the Premier League, I think it's, it's uh, fantastic what he has done so far, really. Um, I like his behaviour, like his mood, he's very calm and and uh, and uh, I, th I also like the way he, 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 sells, he sets his teams up and, and uh, yeah. Tyler Dibbling, young player who's caught the eye of many football fans around the world with his, with his viral hat-trick. Did you see the hat-trick? Yeah. What did you think? Very, very similar goes. I know him a little bit longer, as you can imagine, and uh, we know his qualities. And uh, yeah, um, clear that uh, we as are jumping on this. Uh, we try to keep it calm because I think it's uh, is uh, one of the yeah, shining players in our in our youth. And uh, you know that meanwhile it is always very difficult to to yeah. To keep them uh, in in our club, and that's uh, the good thing is that we see how good he is. The bad thing is that also other clubs are seeing it. And uh, but uh, you can be sure that we we will uh, try to push him and to to support him because I think he's as we said one of the good one of the good ones.